Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 5th to the 11th of April 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, like I said. So um, I'm doing these readings a little bit early because obviously we've got Easter coming. So let's see what your first oracle card is, Virgo. What is the message for our lovely Virgos? Thank you for the week message for virgo oh wow i do like that phoenix energy we've got two cards here i mean intuition we've got intuition which is how the universe the divine god angel spirits guides speak to us through our instinct our intuition our intuition is our gut reaction something that stays with us and doesn't change there's something to do with intuition that's leading to some kind of transformation here. And this is the Phoenix. Uh, definitely an energy of out with the old in with the new. <laughs> the Phoenix actively destroys the old in order to herald in the new. Um, you know, in order to rise in its true colours, it, it sheds an old skin. So there's definitely an energy here, Virgo, of rising once more. Uh, but it feels like you're being guided in some way, shape or form. Okay. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels. Okay, so I've got forgiveness. Could be to do with some forgiveness here. You know, we can also forgive ourselves, can't we? Forgiveness is a form of release. Uh, it allows us to move forward and not take toxic energy with us. So it's very much in that cath cathartic, cleansing, shedding and old skin energy. It's a release. There's a release coming. Yeah. Another card I've got here is remain positive. Yeah. Lovely energies there, Virgo. So I'm going to pull three cards and I'm going to clarify, uh, go deeper into the message. And remember, Virgo, it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Virgo, please? 5th to the 11th of April 2021. Message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Oh, it's interesting. I've got the intuition in the challenge position, the High Priestess. The Emperor is advice from spirit and your near future outcome i've got justice three major arcana here message for virgo please angel spirits guides what is the message virgo needs to hear the most for the week can we clarify the cards on the table 5th to the 11th of april 2021 thank you angels spirits guides Oh my, I've got the fourth major arcana here. Uh, so I've got the Hierophant with the High Priestess. The Five of Swords. Wow, I've got the High Priestess reversed now. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Two of Pentacles. Virgo, I've got a really clear message here, which is time to go. It's time to go. It's time to act. Hmm. Because for some of you, it's time to rise above a situation, shed an old skin. Forgive what needs to be forgiving, what needs to be forgiven. But there is definitely an energy of... Someone's not listening to their instincts that they need to liberate themselves from a situation. Now, you know, the Hierophant can be to do with institutional energies. So, yes, this can be to do with... Uh, it can be to do with religion, education, um, you know, uh, traditional working, you know, for a company. It could be to do with a relationship. Uh, generally committed relationship or marriage but there is something here I mean it can also be a family institution but for some of you there is definitely an energy here Virgo that you need there's definitely an energy of whatever this is 
your intuition is telling you it's time to act. It's time to shed an old skin. It is an energy of out with the old, in with the new. I'm going to clarify these cards. Let's clarify the Emperor first. Let's clarify this Emperor. Okay, so I've got King of Pentacles. Again, this is Taurus. You might be dealing with a Taurus. I mean, it's not limited to that, obviously. Um, I mean, the King of Pentacles could be you as well. Let's clarify this Five of Swords. I've got Five of Wands. So this is something that is just going round and round. It feels like it's continuing on in this situation. The Emperor is about taking control. It's time to take control of something. Now, it could also be a person in authority. I mean, you know, the King of Pentacles, I mean, this can be you as well. Um, you know, the King of Pentacles can represent the stability, security, safety, success. So there's, an, there's definitely an energy here of it's time to bring stability back into your life and take control, if this is you, male or female energy. But for some of you, I mean, you know, you could have fallen. I mean, this, these energies can be head of household energy, male or female energy, can also be to do with a father, can also be to do with, uh, because the emperor can be a father figure, um, could also be to do with, like I said, somebody in authority, so business, career, money I'm getting. But there is some conflict here, Virgo, and it's just never ending. This energy, this five of, of swords can be about conflict winning at any cost, interestingly enough. It feels like whatever this conflict is, it's costing you. And that's what Spirit is saying. It's costing you feeling stable, secure, and um, even your success. I mean, obviously, if this is to do with career, there's definitely an energy of it's time to take control of a situation now. And there is this sense of needing to win at any cost in some way, because yes, this person it can be a victor. They claim the swords from other people. There's bad feeling that's left, loss of respect, loss of friendship. Um, it feels for some of you something may cost you, but it's better than going round and round in this period of instability and conflict and struggle with somebody and tension. So whatever resonates with you, it feels that there's a significant, it feels a person or a company or, I mean, like I said, whatever this relates to you for, a person or it could be a company, I'm definitely getting this energy of it's, it's time to get off the roundabout, bring an end to this conflict. Because the justice is about doing the right thing. You know, this can also be about legal situations, government institutions, um, but this, this can be an energy of um, doing the right thing for you now to bring balance back into your life. I'm definitely getting that energy. There could be, you might have an opportunity to, to, it feels like there's crossroads energy. You know, this can be a choice between two paths. Now you can stay on the path that you're on and maintain this kind of like roundabout of conflict, tension, struggle. Or you can do the right thing for you now and choose to go in a different way. You know, there is an energy of out with the old, in with the new, I'm shedding an old skin. The message is you need to listen to your intuition. Both of these energies are, is somebody not listening to their intuition, what their instinct is telling them and not acting on it. There's a cause and effect energy here. You only bring balance back to your situation and life by taking action, by doing something about it, by doing the right thing for you. 
And this is that seesaw energy. Will I, won't I, do I, don't I? Um, it feels in this situation, Virgo, there's, that it's time to act. It's time to go as well. It's time to bring a situation of conflict to a conclusion. Yes, this may end with bad feeling, um, but it's almost, or, you know, I mean, whatever this Five of Swords is, bad feeling, loss of respect, um, loss of friendship, loss, I mean, it can be whatever it is, loss of whatever it is, but there's definitely an energy here of you need to bring stability and security back into your life, that's for sure. And it seems that there's two paths available to you. And you're being told someone isn't listening to their intuition right now. And when we don't listen to our intuition, we don't find the right path forward. So there's definitely an energy of taking control of a situation. Wow, Virgo, it feels... Because when you do, you know, things start looking up. You know, pages represent the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change as well. You know, things start looking up. I mean, that's what I'm definitely getting here. Let's pull you one more card, Virgo. The message seems really clear for somebody. Yeah, not wanting to see the truth. Um, again, another five, something calling you lack, causing you lack. Begrudging. This can be financial changes. This can also be uh, knocking your self-worth, self-esteem as well. So whoever's doing this or whatever company, is, I mean, like I said, it could be an institution, it could be a person, you know, this, <laughs> this Eight of Swords is inhibited thinking. So you need to break through the barrier and listen to your intuition to see the way forward and do the right thing for you. Some of you might be feeling that you need to get a legal situation involved or, um, legal institution or you know lawyer government institution call it what you will there could be some legal repercussions here but there's definitely an energy of something doesn't feel right that's for sure there is conflict that is making you feel unstable three fives um i mean three fives can be about unexpected change as well but it feels in this instance there's deep instability and disruption And you need to liberate from it. Rise like the phoenix. This is the phoenix rising energy. Shed an old skin. And absolutely, it feels that's what your intuition is telling you to do. Wow, Virgo. I wish you well. I hope... Um, I'm going to pull a final card, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. I'm so pleased. There's greater abundance ahead, and that's what um, the universe is telling you. There's greater abundance ahead here. So we have prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairy land and human land, there's enough abundance for everybody. I mean, this can be about material gain. If there's a legal situation, it might well be you're getting something from somebody because it wasn't fair, and there is a need to win at any cost in order to let justice prevail but there's definitely an energy of it's time to go because there's greater abundance ahead and you know abundance is also an energy in our internal space of where we don't feel lack where we feel thriving where our self-esteem self-worth is raised again so it's a beautiful beautiful energy maybe some material success coming to you but also in terms of getting self-worth self-esteem back on track and making the right choice for you to bring balance back into your life and doing the right thing now for you. It definitely feels that kind of energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all, Virgo, and I will see you next time. Thank you.